Hello everyone, this is Furhan from FanReviews.com and in this video it's going to be a how-to tutorial type video. I'm going to show you how you set up an autoresponder with GetResponse. Now the reason I chose GetResponse is at the time, and I think it still is, one of the cheapest email marketing platforms and you get a lot of features um, with just the, the, the uh, cheapest package. I think I'm paying, uh, let me just find the price, one second. Okay, um, I'm paying uh, eleven pounds a month. I think it works out twelve dollars fifty. I think it is a charge, and that's on the uh, smallest package for one thousand subscribers. And you get a lot of features for your money. You get a uh, full email marketing, obviously. You get a new website builder, autoresponders, which I'm going to show you today, and you get unlimited landing pages. And what I like is that uh, with a lot of my bonuses, if you bought anything from me via Warrior Plus or JVZoo, you'll see a little download your bonus form that's all I make one form for each product that I review uh, so it's all unique and um, you get unlimited forms and landing pages with get response so that's something quite good so let me just quickly show you so autoresponders you probably know what they are but if you don't if somebody uh, subscribes to your list an autoresponder is a sequence of events um, the email that will be sent out by get response to your subscribers so, for example, if you sign up for my list today, um, the initial email will just be a welcome email, hello, and all that. And then um, the email the following day or the day after, whichever schedule you want to set, it will be, uh, it might be promoting a training, a, a course, it might be promoting a particular offer. It depends on the list. So you can have different autoresponders for different lists. So I've got some high-ticket items where I know that people are signed up because they're interested. So if they don't want that offer, I could find a similar training or similar product that will be a little bit cheaper. It just depends on what suits their budget. So um, uh, or it might be a different, just say for example, offering one uh, particular make money training that's uh, $500 and there's another one that's $100. So I can offer them the $500 one first, see if they're interested. If they do sign up, great. If they don't, wait a day and then offer them the other one for $100. So this autoresponder sequence is just targeted different lists and different uh, subscribers. Sorry. And yeah, it's just there to help you manage your email list and make some money, build interest and so on. So in this example, I created a list. To do that, you just click on um, create and then do... Um, oh, sorry, not create. You, create. you go to... You go... I forgot what you're doing now. Okay, now you don't want to go there. Okay, well, that is where you create it. I have to blow all my lists out. But um, you click on create list and then you create a new list and you can make new settings and just copy it from a previous list. But this video is about autoresponders, so let me quickly get back there. So you pick your list from here from this to drop down and you go to create autoresponder. Um, I like using the new email creator because it's just a lot more, it's easier to use. And it's been there for a while. Um, so you picked your you picked you pick your linked list so I've picked the uh, my demo list we'll call it demo autoresponder one and then um, at this um, it's a bit more streamlined so now there's less pages to go through so in this example I want a message to go out straight away so when someone signs up I want to go on day zero which is immediately no hanging about at the same time as sign up, sign up or you can add a delay um, in hours or even exactly at a certain time so I know marketers like to send their emails about 10 o'clock in the morning or 8 o'clock in the morning or some like to leave it till 4 or 5 p.m. but for this I'm going to send it same time as sign up immediately send out the message whether it's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday or the weekend any day and then you you select your from your email address and reply to email address from your stored email addresses. You enter the subject line, so hi and welcome, for example. You can add emojis or you can add personalization if you want. And then you go to design content. So I always, uh, actually, I always start with a blank message. You can all use their predefined templates, but I don't like them. You start to keep it simple. I'll go to blank template and just use template. Okay, so from here you can drag across an image, um, text, buttons, videos. If you want to make a welcome video, you can 
drag that in there, we'll just give a YouTube link or something. Uh, spaces divided and so on. So I'd probably just, just to keep it short and sweet, just put a bit of text. Hi, thanks, whoops. Thanks for signing up. Welcome to this fantastic list. All the best. And you can add image or whatever you want, but let's just for this demo, I'm going to keep it simple. Um, okay, and then you click on. I didn't know they had e commerce options. Anyway, click on next. So that is the uh, list, that is the autoresponder, sorry, set up. And you click on save and publish. So now, as soon as someone signs up to uh, to this this demo list, they'll get sent this message straight away. So now we have to add. Um, you can, I think I don't know how many. I think it's unlimited. You can add as many messages as you want, but I don't go overboard. Okay, so we'll do another message now. So we'll call it um, demo list message two, and you can send this on day one. So it'll be the following day or two days. So it depends on the list and what you're offering, but maybe set for two days. And you can send out any day you want. I'll just blur this bit out. Okay, and the subject line. Um, you may be interested in this blah, blah, blah product. That's probably a bit spammy, but this is just for demo. And the same thing, um, do your template. Text, this might interest you. Sign up here. And then you go to URL, insert link, so https fanreview.com. I've got to do the slash. Oops. Oh my goodness, one minute. Ah, oh, bugger. Sorry. Let me do it again. Ah, oh, doesn't look good, does it? HTTPS. Okay, insert. Okay, so now it's an active link, and also so we get response of track the clicks and so on. Um, nothing else to write in there. Click on next. So that's day two. Um, it's from from me and reply to my uh, confirmed address. I like this actually. It's got a new green tick, so you know you know your progress. You can do click tracking, e-commerce tracking, and so on. Give it a second. That's done. Oh, I forgot to shoot my list, I think. Okay, sorry, I forgot to, shoot, I forgot to choose the right uh, list. So let me just go back here. This, that was the first one, demo list, and this one I left on my default one. So let me just change this one quickly. Let's go back in here, go to edit. And from here, I know it's a little bit small. I wish they'd make a flipping banner here or something so you can see it. Uh, but link list, let me just blur some of this stuff and go to choose demo list, that was this I set, and now do update. Okay, now we see they're both on demo list. So now as soon as someone signs up for, as I said, this one, they'll get this one straight away. Then two days later, at the same same, same uh, sign up time, um, they'll get the the second, um, second message. What you can do actually thinking about it, it's probably better to choose a time. So for example, um, you can do time travel, but you just say, for example, you, like most marketers, you send it at 8 a.m. or 10 a.m. So I'll send it at 10 a.m. And time travel, so it will be at the recipient's local time, which is also good. Um, and yeah, again, so save that again. So now it should be updated. There we go. So I'll send it at 10 a.m. on any day of the week. And it's time travel, so if they're in the U.S., I'm in the U.K., it will be at 10 o'clock, their local time. And that is basically how you set up post autoresponders. So that is the uh, tutorial bit out of the way. 
Now, um, I know I've been really, really lacking with autoresponders. I've got so many, I've got a couple of different email apps and I've got quite a few emails, but I've just been a bit lazy in setting up the autoresponders. Um, but it's actually such an amazing way to make additional income or get your profile raised and so on just by sending out regular messages. I know a lot of big marketers like John O. Armstrong, I'm part of one of his, uh, a part of his main coaching group. He highlights the importance of uh, creating a, a email list because um, they always say the, the money's in the list and it's true because so many big marketers I know do emphasize the email list but it just happens where you just don't get around to sorting it out. So I thought I'm setting up my autoresponder so I'll make a quick tutorial. Now, if you click on the link below, you can actually pick up a 30-day free trial for GetResponse. And if you do, thank you, it's an affiliate link. Um, if you're in the UK, it's £11. If you're in America, I think it's about twelve fifty. And I think there are, some, there are loads of other ones like Aweber and MailChimp is terrible. Stay away from MailChimp. Especially don't go for the free ones because you don't get all the features. With GetResponse, I've actually been on here for maybe a year and a half. Maybe about a year actually. Because I did used to go for the free ones. I used to have my own email server a while ago. And that was just too much, too much of a headache to maintain. But GetResponse has very good deliverability. Because that's a big factor. You don't, cause the free ones obviously have a lot of spam. So the the, uh, the rating will go down. You'll go into a lot of spam boxes. But GetResponse I found is pretty good. It's also very popular with a lot of good marketers. Not spammy ones. And of course there's pricing options to pay up front and get discounts. But the main things that I use um, is the standard email broadcast. And uh, I use the landing pages. But now more and more I'm using the forms. Um, let me see if I can just pull up a quick form without giving away too much information. Forms and surveys. Okay, I'll blur some of this stuff out. But... Um, and this product that just released today called uh, Mass Mailer Methods. Um, is it released today? I think it's released today. So what you can do, can I view form? Yeah, I can view... Actually, I better hide the URL because that's where you get the bonuses. But um, let me just edit form. I'll show you edit form. Give it a second. Give it two seconds. Okay, here we go. So this is just a really basic form, and um, what I found is that overcomplicating with too much information, uh, people I don't know what it, people start filling in the form, but if you keep it really simple, so this is my bonus form. But I've also got similar forms for signups. So it's basically where do I send your bonus? Here is name, email address, and download. So the download button is configured to. I'll hide the URL. Actually, no, it's okay. I'll show it. So it will go to this list. So if you click buy one of my Warrior Plus or JVZoo products, um, you'll go on to the autoresponder day zero message and you'll get a custom thank you page. And it will be straight to a Google Drive download link for your bonuses and that'll give you the actual bonuses. And that's what I like about GetResponse. That is, it's very easy to create these forms, They're unlimited. And of course, you can have different ones for each um, each product. You can have thank you pages as well, but I don't use that. I go straight to download. I don't have the okay. Now you're all hidden anyway. So, as you see, it's just a very basic, simple form. And once you click enter your details, click download, you get your bonuses. So that was my quick uh, tutorial for how to do autoresponders. Um, I may make some other tutorials on how to do other stuff and get a response. Um, but yeah, I'll leave it there and I'll see you in the next one. And if you buy, click on the link below, you can get get response. Uh, get get response. You can get a thirty day trial to get response. And um, yeah, that would be appreciated. Thank you, and see you in the next one.